What's up guys? It's Christine with Irene Iron Fitness and today I'm bringing you another one skillet meal by high demand. This one is Southwest Turkey Skillet. Keep watching. So this recipe is for anybody that wants another one skillet meal. We had great success with the dirty rice and people love having a complete meal in one skillet. This meal is also for a beginning cook. It's a very easy recipe. It uses a lot of help from canned items. So that's really great as you're learning to cook. This is a really good one to practice with. Another really good benefit of this recipe is you are using canned goods, more canned goods than I usually use. So for those of you that don't have much fridge space at all for fresh produce, this is a great recipe to take advantage of some canned grocery items and still get some vegetables in and a meal that tastes like it didn't come from cans. So I'm going to walk you through what we're using. First, I'm going to start with onions and garlic. Onions and garlic in this dish are the only thing that's really a fresh pantry item. Now they do have a really, really long shelf life. You can keep an onion on your counter for a long time, a couple weeks, maybe more. It depends on how fresh it is when you buy it. So all you need to do is chop the onion and the garlic and that's about it. So for people just starting to cook, it's definitely a skill that you want to learn because so many great recipes start with the onion and the garlic. If you can start incorporating this at an early age, you'll get really far. But if you don't have onion or garlic, don't worry about it. You can still make this recipe and then literally everything will be either from a can or your spices in your pantry with exception of the fresh turkey. So I'm using this bundle of turkey from Costco. This is about a pound and a half. So this is gonna make six four ounce servings of turkey and it's 93% lean. I always go for the leanest possible because that allows more wiggle room in your day to have fun toppings if you want to have other things like a dollop of sour cream or an avocado on top. Having a lean turkey will help offset your total fat for the day so that you can have some other fun things and not just rack up your fat through a meat source. Oh, and I lied. There are some fresh peppers in this, so this is another fresh item, but you could easily make this dish without as well. So these are my fresh items and there's wiggle room. If you don't want to include these, you don't have to. I like the fresh bell peppers though because they add a little bit of bite to the dish where if you are using canned goods, it could come across mushy. So having some fresh vegetable adds some crunch. And I actually just use these little mini peppers because I buy these at Costco or Sam's Club whenever we go. I always have these in our van after a fresh Costco haul. And I like these around because we snack on them but also I can incorporate them into recipes. So I just buy this bag and then if I'm making something like a stir fry or tacos or something that you want bell peppers in, you just use what you already have and that helps you get further with your bulk shopping. So this is very multifunctional and that's one of the reasons I buy these because we snack and we cook using the same mini peppers. Now on to the canned goods, black beans. I always have legumes around. I love them as a carb source. So in this one skillet dish, we're gonna get our carbs from beans and corn. I don't normally use corn, but I love corn. Now, honestly, if I had a large freezer, I would use a frozen corn, like the frozen fire roasted corn. I know they sell it at Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. I used to buy it when I had an apartment, but I don't have the space for that. So I have to give and take on some items. This is something that I'm gonna try the, the uh, canned version of. So these are my carbs. The peppers are my carbs. There's a lot of carbs in vegetables. So if you have a dish, like try using vegetables as a carb source and don't always rely on things like uh, grains or rice because you can have great, healthy, complete meals with vegetables, starchy vegetables. These are starchy. I'm also using these Rotel tomatoes. This is a diced tomatoes with lime juice and cilantro. I've never used this flavor. I've actually never really cooked with Rotel before, 
but I know a lot of people love it. It's very popular for dips and stuff, and it's something great to keep in your pantry for cooking a recipe on a whim. Chopped green chilies. These add really good flavor. They don't take up much space. They're super cheap. Keep it in your pantry. If you want a little extra spice, throw in some jalapeno. And then my dried spice blend in here, I have salt, pepper, paprika. I really like the smoked paprika. It has a really good flavor. And I use cumin and oregano. Go easy on the salt because you're using so much canned foods. You don't really know how much salt is gonna be in this until you've got it all together. You can taste it at the end and then adjust as necessary. So what I'm gonna do now is get my 12 inch skillet over medium high heat and we're gonna get a little bit of oil in there so we can start the onion and the garlic. Our onions are ready. They've been on for a few minutes. It smells amazing. Trick number one for anybody learning to cook. Start it with the onions and the garlic. You're gonna smell like you know what you're doing. It smells so good. This recipe is so easy. I can't tell you, it's perfect for new cooks. On my dirty rice uh, video, I got a comment from one of the viewers, Boosted Nick, and he's going to be a new cook. He doesn't really know what he's doing in the kitchen. And this is perfect for you. And like I said, if you don't even have the ability to cut an onion and do the onion, you can still make this. It's super flavorful, super easy. I just put the garlic in. I'm gonna let this go for a minute until it's fragrant. Be careful not to burn the garlic. And after this, it's gonna go pretty fast. We're gonna add the turkey in. We're gonna add the spices and everything that we already went through. It all basically goes into the pan once the turkey is cooked through. Um, another great thing that I would use this as like a weapon for is if you're going on a long trip or boondocking or like I said, your fridge space is just not very big to begin with, but you know you're going to run out of fresh veg. If you keep these cans of goodies in your collection, you can have a meal that you can put together at the end of your trip when you're out of produce, you're out of things, and then you say, well, what can I make that's healthy and tastes good and easy? Bam, turkey skillet, you got it. Now I'm adding the turkey in, the garlic smells so good. This is a pound and a half. I try to buy my turkey in bulk, it's a lot cheaper. So you just wanna break the turkey up now. and mix it in with the onion and the garlic to combine everything. If you are looking for some tips on basic food uh, cutting, like how to cut an onion, how to chop the garlic, anything like that that's more of a technical question, leave a comment below and we'll include some of that on future videos to help teach you some knife skills and other kitchen skills. So I'm just gonna keep working this turkey and then once it is cooked through, we'll come back and we'll add all the flavors. The turkey is cooked through. I can see barely here and there some specks of pink, so it's almost there. At this point, I'm gonna throw in the peppers. I have my bell peppers and my one jalapeno pepper, which is optional, but I love spice. And another reason why I really like these mini bell peppers that I talked about is because you can get all three colors in without having to buy the whole three large peppers because three large peppers would create a lot of diced peppers. So this you get the color pop with only like the same minimal amount of peppers. <laughs> so you get your color splash cheaper. You get your color splash more affordable. You get more bang for your buck. Did I get, get a go? <laughs> no? All right, so now that the peppers are in, 
because I don't want them to get too soft, so I want to start adding everything else in right away. Starting with my spices. Uh, paprika, cumin, salt, pepper, oregano. It's usually my common suspects in tacos. Um, this dish actually reminds me of kind of a cross between tacos and cowboy caviar. So I'm going to eat mine directly like this without changing it at all because as I mentioned it is a complete meal. When you break this into six servings it will have 27 grams of protein, 27 grams of carbs, and 10 grams of fat. So you know pushing 30 carbs on a dish is pretty good and I don't really want to be any higher than that for my meals unless it's intended then I'd add something else on the side like you could very well add some rice to this or put it in some corn tortillas that would be really good but when I'm batch making something like this I try to keep it under a certain point so that I can control it each day so I got the spices in there I'm just coating all the meat with the spices so that the turkey gets a nice dark color from that paprika and it's really so much more appetizing to eat turkey or any meat that's been like seared or brown or it has some color to it because pale gray turkey really doesn't appetite people very much so adding in some seasoning not only makes it taste really good but it makes it look better <laughs> all right so the seasoning is the seasoning is in now on to the fun party mix, which all this stuff we're basically just warming through. So I have my black beans strained and rinsed. Try to buy the low sodium whenever possible for anything in a can. Like this is no salt sweet corn. I'm really excited about the corn in this because I never, corn is one of those things where I'd like, I love corn, but I never eat it. Uh, the Rotel. Um, we'll see how this cilantro flavor is. I actually have some fresh cilantro to put on top as a garnish too. And these chopped green chilies I love. They're not spicy, but they add just a little pop of like, a, almost like a zing. And they're so good. You could put them in so many different things too. So I always keep a can of this up in the goods. So now you just want to mix it all together. Definitely looks like a salsa. You could add just like a few chips on the side if you can handle a few chips without going overboard. Um, this looks good. And you can see it's definitely filling up my 12 inch skillet. So I'm just gonna keep mixing this. At this point, you would want to give it that little taste test that I mentioned. Make sure that it's the way you like it. If you want more seasoning, add in more seasoning. And that's it. So if you wanna see exactly what I put in here, go to my blog, ireneironfitness.com for the printable recipe. Hit that subscribe button, give me that thumbs up if you like this video, leave some comments if there's something that you want to see, or if there's other tips that you would like to learn, let me know so I can help share with you. And meet me next week for a new recipe and Sundays for our travel vlogs. See you next time.